What is up Madden 25 Gamers, welcome to today's video. In today's video we're going to be talking about how we like to set up our three-headed rushing attack out of the St. Louis Rams playbook. Now one of the most important things here is we're preparing for Madden 15 with our practice mode in Madden 25. We want to be able to emphasize running the football. Even though uh, defense is going to be a lot better in Madden 15, while we're here still in Madden 25 we know that it's really good. And another thing is that it's just a general basic tactic that we always have to focus on. So the play that we're using to this week for our three-headed rushing attack is the single back tight doubles on formation and the play we're going to be using is the halfback zone week. What we like to do with this play is we like to uh, play maker it a couple times at the line of scrimmage to show our opponent uh, we may be running it to the right, we may be running it to the left. Here we're going to run it to the right and we're going to motion over Julio Jones every single time and we're going to snap it as he sets up over here into a nice little bunch tight end formation out of that single back tight doubles on. Now you see sometimes you'll have success with this run, sometimes you won't, but you want to keep the motion consistent and you see that we can attack both sides of the field. Now the cool part about the zone run is that you can run it inside, you can run it outside, um, and you can run it off tackle. So it basically creates for you a three headed rushing attack in one play. That's really nice and it's another good thing here with the quick option we get from the St. Louis Rams playbook that we have a lot of flexibility here um, and I really like this formation more for the plays off of this run than just this run itself but I'm telling you guys right now from experience I've been using this run a lot in Madden Alpha Team different platforms like that and it, it does a lot does a lot better than what you're seeing here maybe just because of the defense I picked or whatever uh, it may have just matched up really well against this play but uh, this run normally does fairly decent. Let's take a look at here and see if we can maybe uh, get a little bit better of a gain here to show you. So, as we're looking at this run, we're trying to get that double team off the edge, and uh, for whatever reason, the tight end is just not Tony Gonzalez is just not showing up this game, uh, today's video. But, basically, guys, I'm telling you what, you want to pound this run. This is a nice run out of a three wide receiver set. Um, and it's, it's just a really effective run. I'm telling you guys, it's not as effective as a single back bunch, you know, halfback slash or, you know, some of the other ones that I've talked about. But it is pretty effective, and it does a really nice job. And there you see, we finally break it off. But what's really nice is the play action off of this. So we have the PA double cross off of this play. And... This does a really good job at beating America's favorite defense, to me and under. So we're going to do the same motion. We're going to fake that playmaker. I like to put Tony Gonzalez on a little in route. But what you see here is this right up here to Julio Jones does a really nice job at beating man-to-man -man coverage as we get intercepted. And what I mean by that is it's, it's going to create a natural pick and run. Now, it won't beat man every time, as you guys just saw, obviously. Uh, we just got intercepted, but it will beat man most of the time. And another thing is that if it doesn't beat man off the initial break here, you'll see I can pass lead this up, and then I can maybe make a user catch with Julio Jones, and I'm off to the races for a touchdown. Now, that's a, a little swerved user catch that you want to do, and it's pretty effective. It's just a basic user catch mechanic that's been in the game for years and years and years. Um, the next read here on this play, though, is this... Uh, whoops, I apologize. I actually threw it back to Julio Jones here. But the next read on this play is going to be Tony Gonzalez. Tony Gonzalez is very good. Very uh, His route will be open against man and zone. And does a really nice job here at beating man coverage for us. And so that's what I like to use this play off of. And uh, one final note I want to make is if they start blitzing you to stop the run because they know that this is your run formation. What's really interesting here as we're cycling through these plays is... When Julio Jones, we can use that as a pass lead up here in the cover zero, and he's going to have a one-on-one -on -one over the top, try to make a user catch, go up for it big, and um, that's the way I like to do it. So, and then in closing, they have, if they're running like a coverage defense or something like that, a drop back zone, this right to Roddy White is very effective. Uh, when you have time in the pocket, pass lead it down to the outside, click on, make a user catch, go up, make a play. So this PA double cross is a really nice little play action off of this run and it gets a lot done there and it will beat man and zone. You just gotta practice it, practice the timing, uh, but it's a very effective play. I really like the little two crossing patterns, uh, but what's even more effective is I'm telling you guys right now, this user catch uh, to Julio Jones here. When we motion him across, we bring him across formation, and we make basically a mesh pattern over the middle here. Natural picks and rubs galore. And then we can pass lead that up, click on, make a user catch for the play. So that's what I like to do in this game. And I uh, hope that this video provides you some interesting plays where we can run the ball and pass the ball from our rushing attack out of the St. Louis Rams playbook. Thanks for your time today, guys. We'll talk to you guys later. And uh, be sure to stay tuned for our next video. Thanks a lot. See you.